In this video, we're just gonna talk about a few things that are going on just in a bunch of places. Okay, but first I am gonna start out talking about Ready to Love because that's one of my favorite, favorite reality shows, okay? And there is a lot that has changed with Ready to Love over the years. It's, so, it's gotten so far away from the initial show, which I do understand that I don't like some of the same foods I used to like 10 years ago. So, you know, I, it, it's understandable. But a lot of the things that are happening right now, I feel like they are preventable. But I don't know what owns Endgame is. Like, what is their... I know what they say their premise for the show is, but like, what are they really doing when they're in these board meetings and they're in these production meetings and they're getting the storyline together and they're, they're you know, preparing for the show, they're casting people. Um, like, what is their real end game? Because it's not to find love, okay? I think they should probably rename it the dating experiment, right? We're just gonna throw all these people in here and we're gonna manipulate it how we want it and cause a bunch of chaos because you know i'm reviewing the love experiment and i have to say that it is so refreshing to be able to review a show and just you know let it go you know what i'm saying now i'm not saying i don't let ready to love go i'm just saying it is so much involved in the show in just one episode so many things can happen um you know after the episodes air and it's just creating complete chaos okay people are being misunderstood people's characters are being attacked um a lot of hurt feelings like it's just crazy like the whole way that they film this show is crazy it's like okay they get all of this footage and i know i said this time and time again i'm probably preaching to the choir but if the premise is if the goal is to put people which we like to call, you know, black excellence, put black excellence in a room. Let's see if there are any connections. Like, what is the point of those people going into that situation if they're not even in control of what's going on? Like, with Love Experiment, the women are in control of who they're dating. They're dating the men that they're interested in. There's been a lot of times on Ready to Love in seasons past that people don't get set up on the dates with the people they have connections with. What is the point of that? To create drama. So it's looking like that is the road that they're going down with that show. Like I'm not even, I think that when people were signing up for that show initially, it was all based off of like the previous baby seasons, the very first seasons. Um, because as of late, it's really, it's really taking a turn, okay? But like for this current season, Dallas, right? They had a beautiful cast, but they were not able to get any connections. And it's looking like even though we have some couples that we, you know, couples that we see that may make it, like we're forcing it, we're forcing it. Um, and so, uh, I, I don't know. Like, I think everybody is probably going to choose themselves in the end. Um, I would be surprised if, like, I really would. Like, I'd be surprised if Aries, you know, went with Phil. I would be surprised if Janelle and Quentin, if they do choose each other, that they stay together. Um, and then Morier who has two connectors right now, which is beyond me, okay? And I heard that it's only one episode for the reunion. That just says a lot too, because like, y'all forced this, y'all forced this. Not the cast, but production. Like, what are they doing? Like, I really am interested in that. I really no longer care about the cast as far as like, you know, when they go, what their expectations are, whatever. I really, really wanna know what are the questions that are being asked in production? What are the conversations that are being had? Like, what, what is, what is going on? I really want to know. Like, what are these conversations about? Like, what is the goal of the show? What is this show doing to people? Because I've watched seasons after seasons after seasons, and in every season there is something. Like, especially lately. Lately, there's some, I mean, there was like the Eric situation with the kid. There was the Phil and the Shiloh situation. There was the David situation. Like 
there was the Zadia situation. Now we have this situation between Chris and Jessica. And it's just like, what are y'all doing? Because at the same time that, yeah, we're seeing this footage, production was there watching the whole thing go on. And I feel like their goal is just ratings no matter how they get it. That That's just what it's looking like for this show. I'm really, really uh, hoping to see something different for Ready to Love, um, Ready to Move. No, ready to love, make a move. Because the women will have their choice to be dating who they want. It will be totally different from the first uh, ready to love episodes they were on because they did not really have control over who they were dating. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a little bit better. And then, I don't know, I heard Kamisha talking about um, the possibility of them canceling the second season of Ready to Love Dallas. I don't know how true that is, but... What do y'all think about that? Should they cancel it or should they keep going and take our suggestions and try to make it better? Like, what do you guys think? Because now they're going to have competition. For a long time, there wasn't any other shows that were quite like it, right? Um, and so the love experiment is going to give uh, Ready to Love a run for their money um, in that regard. Because the two main elements, like I said, is one, they're in the same location as the people they're dating. And two, the women get to make choices of who they want to date. So, you know, we'll see how that turns out because I'm going to keep watching. Episode five of The Love Experiment comes on tomorrow, which is Tuesday. If you're watching this um, in the, you know, in the future, it already came on. You probably could binge the show. But um, as of right now, it's on episode five. And... Uh, this show only was filmed for four weeks and they're over halfway through that process. So we'll see how that ends up. Um, and like I said before, I think there was a video that Crystal XO did where she interviewed the girls that were on that show. So I gotta go watch that. I still haven't watched it to see what they said uh, about their experience because this ready to love thing is, is getting pretty toxic. I mean, even just to be a reviewer, you, you know, somebody's gonna get offended because we're seeing things presented in a way that those people did not mean for it to be presented. So there's bound to be some misunderstanding, but I blame production, I blame production. And I'm not even talking about the production that is filming it. I'm talking about the production that is, you know, in charge of the storyline and putting the film together. Because me and my sister were talking about this in our last video. Um, it looks like they they probably edited it backwards. You could get multiple angles from one story, okay? If you start at the end and go back based on what happened at the end, the, the beginning is gonna look totally different. If you start at the beginning and edit it all the way to the end, it's gonna be a different story. So it does look like they edited this back because again, we don't see a lot from Sierra. We never saw a lot of her dates. Um, we didn't see a lot of Lee's dates, right, with Quentin. Um, and so it's like, based off of what happened, she self-eliminated and things like that. Like, they didn't even include that, that a lot of her storyline leading up. They leave out a lot about the people that they, you know, what they do, what they're passionate about. Like, they, some of that stuff, they're just recording for nothing because they have no intentions on using it. So it, it's really crazy to me. Um, but I think that, like I said, uh, the reason why people go on, uh, reality TV these days is for exposure and the experience, right? And now they will be able to look forward to maybe getting, um, a spinoff or involved in another, another reality show. I mean, that is kind of the way it is. So, but the thing about it is, like I said, I just need, I just need to know what's going on in production. That's, that's, and I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay. Anyway, that was just my little ready to love rant uh, for now because we still have, I think, another episode. Is this the last episode coming out? Where they meet the, where they meet the women's family? Is it another episode for Tuesday? Or is that going to be the same episode? We'll see what happens. Um, I wanted to talk about this too because. <laughs> you know, it's, it's along the lines of like, what, what are people thinking about? Okay. So I go to the Wegmans, uh, yesterday and Wegmans, if you guys don't know, is like, um, it's a grocery store. Um, 
I love it. To me, it's like a Disneyland of grocery stores, if you will. But um, I think they're only in certain places. But anyway, I go to the Wegmans. Um, you know, I go around, I get all my little things. And I got, one of the things I got was like an 18 pack of eggs, okay? So I put all my stuff on the belt. The lady's ringing it up. And, you know, I'm just talking to her. I'm not even paying attention to her put my stuff in the bag because I'm just assuming she works here. <laughs> she knows how to bag stuff. You know what I mean? Um, so it's raining when I get outside. Like, it's pouring down raining. I didn't know it was going to rain when I went in there, so I didn't take an umbrella. So it's pouring down. So now I have to admit that I forgot my reusable grocery bag. So they had to give me brown paper bags. So I'm really trying to get to the car because I'm like, these bags are not gonna be worth shit by the time I get there and I don't want any of my groceries to fall out, right? So I get over there and I'm putting the stuff in there. And now, mind you, I forgot I brought eggs. So I'm just tossing the bags in the car, these paper bags, I can't see through the bags, I don't know what's in the bags. Once I get all of the bags in the car, I'm like, which bag are my eggs in? And then I immediately went into a panic because I just threw all those bags in there. And I didn't really throw them in there, but I wasn't being mindful like I had eggs in one of those bags. So the bag that I put it in, I had like put that in the back seat. <laughs> in between the seat and the, the, the back seat, it was on the floor, right? So I just like put it in there and I looked in there. Guess what was in this bag, y'all? Look at what was in this bag. Like as a person who doesn't work at the grocery store, do, does this look right? Like what? What's she doing? She just tossed my eggs in there with a bottle of pine salt. I was like, you know what? That's it. From now on, I got to pay more attention because that lady, luckily none of my eggs were broke, but I was like, what was she even thinking? But what other shows do y'all watch? Because I know Love is Blind is coming back. I, I think I saw Kamisha say they're in Dallas this next upcoming season. Um, I got to go back to see when it's supposed to air because I didn't hear that part, but I'm going to definitely be watching that. But what shows do you guys watch in the way of reality TV? You know, I like the love shows, you know what I mean? So if you have, uh, you know, shows that you watch or something that you think is better than the, the, the show that I have claimed to my favorite over here that's kind of letting me down now, put it in the comments below. Let me know what you're watching. I, that was just in my mind. Like, I love Ready to Love, but like, <sighs> it's frustrating as a watcher like and then the all the extra drama with it is just draining okay but <laughs> we're gonna get into something else because it's a bunch going on in the world okay people are splitting up in the world as well okay iman shumpert and tiana taylor um it's come out that they are separated now what was interesting is how she handled it okay uh a lot of people um, don't get to sew it up just like she did. I'm talking about Tiana Taylor. So people were speculating what's going on, cheating, this, that, and the other. And she came out with a Instagram post or a Twitter post. Uh, and she set the record straight like, um, no, no, we just fine over here. We've been separated successfully. We are co-parenting successfully. This is my best friend, respectfully. Okay, she shut it right on down. I, I, was, uh, I was like, shout out to her. That's how you do it, you know what I mean? Also, Jeannie Mai and Jeezy, okay? Now, this one is gonna be um, interesting because when they first got together, I know a lot of people were calling Jeezy colorist and all of these things because of his past dating history. And, you know, they had a lot of things to say about Jeannie Mai as well. Um, but what's interesting about this one to me is that it's looking like she didn't know what he was going to do. I don't know. Cause I was thinking that if she did, like, wouldn't they just have agreed to do the divorce and then sign, like he filed this divorce on her, whatever the, I'm going to look it up. Whatever the, the reason for the divorce is, it's like, no coming back from it like it's like he's saying i don't want anything to do with this so i want to know obviously you know we're all nosy it's out here he filed for the divorce it's only been two years since they've been married they just had a baby like what is happening right but i'm gonna look up and see what the 
reason is because the reason is, is it just made me be like, e. I think people was the first to report this. The filing, this is what it says. The filing says the marriage of the parties is irretrievably broken and there is no hope for reconciliation. Like what happened? What happened? Now, Jeannie Mai isn't even, hasn't responded that I've seen, but I think she's doing something right now. But, um, I don't know. Get in the comments below what y'all think, what y'all think. Um, anyway, that's it for me. Let me get out of here. I got to get ready to go to work. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.